What's going on? This is Quaman Fowler coming to you for the Jazz Web Shed YouTube channel. I'm so excited for another day, an opportunity to do a in the shed session. And uh, today I'm wanting to practice on bebop scales through different modes, different degrees of the uh, bebop scale. So I was going over this with a student. <laughs> flat concert and what I'm doing I'm just playing check one two so yeah what I'm doing I'm just playing um, my bebop scales for um, where you have the chromaticism on the sixth on the seventh degree <laughs> all right so I'm just practicing that See if I can do it from the two. Hiccups. I drunk a bunch of water and trying to blow after that, it caused me to do some hiccups. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
just doing one, three, five, seven. really bugging me now what's going on y'all <laughs> there we go what up harps we're back on it do you deliver that in the shed talk to the UK oh yeah definitely you can get it it's um Amazon you have to get it from the Amazon uh, place the in the shed T. Let me find. Uh, I'll get the link. Actually, yeah, just search on Amazon for it. It should pop up. Uh, just punch in in the shed T, and uh, you should get the option for it where you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, now um, do another key. And uh, this is a uh, B, B, B concert. What's going on, Gabriel? How you doing? In the shed, practicing on these bebop scales, trying to get it under my fingers from the different modes. There you go. 
that out. Slowing me down. I just got some light uh, sandpaper I got from a student. trying to keep it consistent with these 16 notes and playing from the different degrees first degree third degree fifth degree seventh degree just going up and down um all righty i'm good now they gone <laughs> the hiccups are gone uh so let's see thanks Okay. Okay. Let's see. So now I'm going to do um, um, E flat. Got to get my timing right. It's really that left hand switching to the palm keys. Ooh, 
that's a struggle. stand in time and with this stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. That's from the seventh degree. trying to connect these lines launching from the different uh, degrees this is a good exercise just checking y'all out Uh. 
Okay. All right. Uh, just uh, working on these bebop skills. Playing the, the bebop scale on the different degrees. One, three, five, seven. And I'm I'm only playing the bebop mode um, where you have the the chromaticism on the seventh degree. So you have the flat seven and the major seven. Artissimo hitting um, that uh, G sharp. Going from that F sharp to G sharp, just a little, it's a bit. That's not right. I switched. Yes, sir. What's going on? What's going on, George? How you doing? I'm sporting my in the shed tees. Support the quarantine shed. <laughs> you can get you one. Oh, if you want to get it in the UK, just search. Uh, if you're outside of uh, America, search on you on uh, Amazon. Uh, the link I have below in the description if you want to uh, get it in the states I believe um, but otherwise you can just search on on uh, Amazon and get it and also I'm open I got some uh, space open now to do some private lessons if you want some one on one lessons with me so you can get more of a um, personal assessment of what you need and also let me turn this down also Also, I was doing coaching calls with that because I put up a video. I was talking about the different things that you can do to earn income uh, during the downtime if you don't have any gigs because of, um, you know, with this virus scare and everything across the, the world, you know, some places aren't as uh, bad as others. Uh, my student was telling me in the UK that, uh, you know, everything's normal there, but they might um, start having to do things, uh, some precautions and shutting stuff down like next week. But if you don't have gigs and stuff like that, and you want to figure out how you can get some things set up to make some money, uh, using your music, uh, you can take some lessons with me about that as well. Um, just text Quaman.com and text lessons. Just text me with your, um, questions and, um, not just questions. I'm saying you can text me and then you'll get a link so that you can uh, sign up. Now, I do offer a discount for those that are my uh, Music Academy, Texas Tenor Music Academy members. You get a discount on your lessons, uh, just $40. But uh, if you uh, hook up with me and you're not a member, it's uh, 65 So uh, just take that into consideration. So either way, text Quaman. You can text me uh, academy and then you'll get the link to where you can sign up to be a part of the academy uh, also the t-shirt uh, text t-shirt to uh, to uh, text quaman.com also um, we uh, what else yeah online lessons text lessons and uh, we can get on skype and um, 
It's cool because on Skype I record them, so you can get the um, you can get the, um, the the video recording right to your chat area. You know of Skype. All righty, so I'm just practicing messing around. If I can have your phone number, bro, I'll be very glad. Yeah, it's uh eight. What is it? Eight one seven two four two. Um, twenty seven thirty two. I'll put it in sh in the chat, so you can definitely hit me up. Two, four, two, and it's the same thing. Textquaman dot com. That's just an easier way to remember. All right. And this is across the world people can uh, text. All right, so that's my number, 817-242-2732 or textquaman.com. And anything, any questions or anything that you are interested in, just shoot me a message. I'm here to help. All right. All right, textquaman.com. Oh, also, if you're interested in my book, you can text book there too. And um, you you should get a link to, to get the book, The Christian Musician Learn What Your Real Gift Is and How to Succeed With and Be On Your Music. I think that's very crucial right now because um, cats need to be in addition to practicing, you d you also got to set up different assets for yourself, and and not just looking at yourself as a as a musician, but you know our asset is our mind, you know our thinking, our brain. <laughs> you know the more things that we learn, uh, the more opportunities are awarded us. You know whether it be teaching um, or performing. You know, you can perform and you can uh, teach, but also you got to learn about, you know, becoming a uh, a business business owner or being self-employed. And then you got to understand how to, uh, you know, use the, the money that you get to invest into other things uh, so that ultimately you can uh, multiply your your income as it comes in through the assets that you create or that you purchase you know so i'm into all of that and i love to talk with you about it um and that's kind of what i uh set the groundwork for in my book yeah yeah you would love it and i'm not just saying that because it's my book, but it really has helped a lot of musicians with the mindset. Because um, it talks about, you know, how I started and the struggles I had to overcome being visually impaired. And, um, you know, I had to um, make the plunge into understanding uh, who I am away from my instrument. And for a long time, I focused on practicing and and I just wanted to play, and I wanted to produce and um, and um, create music, and and I did that for a long while. But of course, the older you get, the more mature you get. You're supposed to, <laughs> and then um, I uh, actually uh, got into investing, and so I've been investing since my early 20s and saving money, and so I studied uh, different people. Uh, like Robert Kiyosaki and um, the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series and a lot of his material. I really like that stuff. Um, and so I got into that and then I started looking into uh, entrepreneurial um, ideas and, and, and different things. And so I wanted to be able to create something um, that could always make me money, like residually. And so that's what interests me into uh, to doing this. Like Jazz Web Shed back in 2009, it was a, a website 
what people could subscribe to. I was putting lessons up and I was advertising and promoting it through YouTube and Facebook. And I got a, a lot of subscribers. And so, um, and I would try to help other musicians with doing the same thing. But a lot of musicians, they just wasn't, they didn't really grasp it now, um, as many. You know, a lot of them didn't really grasp onto it. More, more people were interested in learning how to play. Um, which is cool, you know, that's part of it. But as I'm showing you and and um, sharing through, you know, the Jazz Web Shed website at the time and sharing through YouTube, I was able to get more gigs. I was able to get more students. And so I wanted to teach others how to do that. And um, I just learned that the best value, uh, the best use of your time is when you can actually do something once that will keep on bringing you money and so even from this live stream i'm doing now you're getting value out of it right now but others around the world will be able to go back and watch it and be inspired too and they'll hear me talk about my book they'll hear me talk about lessons they'll hear me talk about my membership site you know they'll hear me um uh, practicing and stuff so i'll inspire people and give them resources and things that they can actually uh, purchase and take advantage of. I got music that I've released. And so all these multiple streams of income, it's like you just have to keep putting out content. And the more content that you put out, then the more it's like you, you're you fanning the fire or you're putting more uh, gasoline on the fire for it to flare up. And so you'll inspire others to do many different things. You know, I've been invited to perform in uh, different places around the country um, and I've been able to teach from my lessons I've been able to um, uh, do performances and and be a guest artist and a lot of my work came from my YouTube videos you know so um, as you're practicing as you're working on stuff um, it's wide open I mean and don't look at it like you know, I'm not there. My level is not there. And it you probably sh probably right. Your level might not be, you know, where I am. But at the same time, you got to start somewhere. And it's, it's more so about people connecting with you because, you know, your ability can be where it is. But as long as you're practicing and you're showing people, hey, I'm working on this or it's a hobby. You got some people who have money who just watch YouTube and want to do a hobby or who have a job. And they want to just learn how to play saxophone or learn a little something cool on the saxophone just to take their way, uh, their their mind away from their everyday work. So a lot of times people uh, at that level will will flock to to me or flock to to you if you're putting out videos. And so you'll be able to inspire them and you'll have an audience. It, anybody can get an audience. You know, it's an audience for for everything. You know, the bad stuff is an audience for. People who are funny, you know, there's an audience for. People who can sew, there's an audience for. People who do real estate, there's an audience for. So the principles are really the same, no matter what the genre is or what the niche is. All you got to do is, is, is just be consistent and share stuff. And then over time, as you develop, you can uh, create some products. You can create an opportunity for people to take lessons with you or a coaching call or, or whatever. And so that's kind of what I do. That's what I enjoy doing about, enjoy about, um, you know, making posts and sharing with you all and stuff. I was thinking about it. I decided post one post. Oh, you did? <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I want to see it. Send me a post. Send me the link. Post the link so I can check it out. So I started my post on Instagram. Okay. Even though I am not the best player, but I'm practicing. There you go. That's the whole point. And even I uh, even like with doing that, you can all, all always ride the the coattail of of whoever you uh, are working working on so like you can put a post up and tag it in the shed 
with Quaman or in the shed, <laughs> jazz web shed, hashtag jazz web shed, or hashtag in the shed, and you practicing uh, this particular thing that you got from a YouTube video. And so, you know, that at that point, you cr it's community. So it's like it's showing that, hey, he's working on what Quaman has gone over in his stream. And then, um, you know, you'll be able to catch some of the traffic from those that follow follow me. And you'll be like, oh, you, you check out Quaman. Well, let me follow you back. And then you put out something else, say, hey, I'm working on this, so I got this together. Check out this video, you know. So as you do that, it's like, it's room and space for everybody, you know. Yeah, good, good. Because when, when you do that, it'll create some, some momentum. And this will actually feed into you because it might be people at your level that connect with you. And it's like, man, can I get with you to practice on some of the stuff that you was sharing on Instagram? And that's how it starts. And you just keep building from there. As you learn things, you just take note of what it is, and uh, you'll have your own method. You'll have your own approach, and then you can start sharing with others as you learn, you know. And so that's pretty much how it is. And and um, you know, it's the world is wide open. We're all connected, you know, through social media and, and YouTube and you know Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that. So. Um, you never know who's watching on the other side of the computer or the other side of the phone, you know, and you're, you're, you're speaking to people and they'll reach out to you eventually and want to connect with you. So that's what it's all about. <laughs> That's a major bebop scale. That's it. All righty. Got my shed on without any gig. Would y'all be interested in like a performance? If I did like a stream performance, would you actually pay for like a performance? This is just some a thought now that, uh, you know, the, the, the gigs are on hold. Would you pay for like access to a live stream performance? I'm just trying to see because i know people are just used to not paying for stuff but you know musicians got to make some bread some type of way so i'm just curious all right so that's it for now um make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already make sure you give it a thumbs up because that really helps spread the word of the material that you watch on the youtube the video you watch through youtube um it'll help get others uh aware of this content and uh also uh like i may mention before uh you can text me quaman text quaman.com and uh, if you want to take lessons with me say uh lessons if you want to get this in the shed t-shirt uh text t-shirt if you want to join the academy just text academy <laughs> and um if you want to get my book also text book and um, the Christian musician is the book and uh, just trying to be helpful and a resource and I'm open to help one-on-one uh, -on -one lessons and uh, all of that good stuff so I think that's all the commercials jazzwebshed.com you can go there and join the email list if you're not on it already and you can get some free uh, emails and if you want to join the academy you can through there all right, so that's everything for now, and uh, we'll see you next go-round. All righty. Peace.